It's just pure intense light, man. Look, we look like milk bottles. We are. Or we're blending into the wall. Can you see me? Can you An see hour. me? Welcome everybody, a happy new year, it's 2022 and it's time for our 2021, it's going to get confusing after a while, <laughs> Christmas haul, this is what we got for Christmas in 2021, hope everyone's doing well and had a safe and a happy holiday season, over Christmas and New Year we certainly did, and once again we got lots and lots of presents and that's what we're here to do in this video, um, we're here just to show you how lucky we are and show you all the stuff that we got. Yep. There's something about it that makes me feel quite uneasy. It's like, look at all the brilliant presents I got. I kind of feel like the boy from the Polar Express that talks about how he, yeah, how, yeah, um, how he just wants all these presents and stuff like that and he's like ungrateful or spoiled or something like that. Um, I don't want to be like him. However, I do like to show what we got. It's one of my favourite videos to do every year and we're getting out of the road early doors. So... Actually, I think most people have already done theirs. I know. Happy New Year! Isn't early. So we're going to start off by showing you what we got each other. We always get each other a lovely gift, but we've decided this year to start a new tradition that we're going to do. We're going to get each other a mystery book every single year, as I have tried to become a bigger reader. My New Year's resolution for 2021 was to read at least 10 books. Didn't. My one for 2022 is going to be 12 books, one a month is my goal. Um, I'm not quite at the stage where I can be reading loads, but that's for another video, that's for book mail. Um, so the new tradition is that we're going to be getting each other um, a new book, a fun book. Uh, that we don't know anything about, we don't ask for it, we're we just going to go into the bookshop and pick one. We should really start saying random book random rather book. than mystery book, because the amount of people that try to get me to buy a mystery book as in like, about I, I would have liked a mystery Yeah, I know, but like... That, they would just keep giving me options and I was like, that's not what Agatha I Agatha Christie and things like that. Yeah, so, I was like, that's not what I meant. Uh, the mystery book that Rachel, my sister, got me is uh, Unstable Boys by Nick Kent. Or The Unstable Boys, sorry. By Nick <laughs> Kent. Um, and I would love to talk about it, but I have no idea anything about it other than the fact that it says in the wee end bit here, band that was big in 1968 and then it's like from a different point of view in 2016. So it's going to be very interesting. Never read a book like this before. So it's um, hardback for you. Mm -hmm. Hardback book, it is about 314 pages exactly, so I'm looking forward bad. to it. And the point was, we had to have no idea about what the book yeah. was going to be. So, like, I didn't know either. Complete recommendation, so that's what it was from Rachel, so thank you for that. Chris got me the Paris Library <laughs> by Janet Skelsling. I don't know. Charles. Charles. <laughs> I was really excited about this because I had just said to him that, not before, like once he gave me it, I was telling him how I had wanted to try a historical fiction book and that's what this is, but he didn't know that, so that was kind of fun. Yeah, and um, I didn't I didn't buy it in the sort of goal of like, I'm going to get like historical fiction, I just thought it looked yeah. really cool. No, it is, and it's very up my street, isn't it? Because it's, I think it's set at World War Two. World War Two about yeah. someone who owns a library in Paris. It's interesting, Rachel. That we <laughs> it's interesting that we both went with one that has two different point of views, so like Paris 1939, and then Montana in 1983. So it has... That is interesting. That's yeah. And then yours has that, which we obviously we didn't know that at the time. So yeah. I'm very excited about it. So it's 420 pages, which is more than yours. 420, baby. That's okay. So that's good. So that's the new tradition, mystery book every year, and that was the ones from this year. She also got me a Ravenclaw scarf. <laughs> Can you believe it? For the longest time I kept nagging her about it. I said, I want... Rachel, the whole story started here where she said that my scarf I had before looked like a pair of curtains. <laughs> it did. Then I got a new grey one, which I like, but I always said I wanted a blue one again. I am a Ravenclaw at heart, so she got me a Ravenclaw scarf. it came in really good scarf. action, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, yes it did, yes. I wrapped so, it in the bag because I was like, this is too pretty not to. She also got me this Back to the Future t-shirt from Forbidden Planet. So it's good. the Japanese writing, 1985. Uh, really, really happy with this t-shirt. Um, and this, oh, also an, not a mystery book, but a, another book for um, for me to look through. It's yeah, it's more the, of a look through one, yeah, isn't it, rather than a reading one. The art of Drew Struzan, all about movie posters, the background behind them, different versions of you know, very famous movie posters. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Back to the Future, all sorts in here of my favourites ever. Very happy to have we browse through that every so often. Rachel's getting good at that, like just buying books that are yeah, just so easy to look through. Like I wasn't going to bother. Um, because like I was already getting my book and stuff and I didn't want to just get them two books and stuff but I thought like literally half of the films in there are like Chris's favourite films and I was like it's too cool not to like yeah. is that Shawshank? There's some Shawshank art. Very nice. Yeah. So thank you sister. You're welcome. So then Christopher did where we are. He did so good. We got... He did so good. <laughs> this if you may recognise is a jumper from Spider-Man from Tom Holland's Spider-Man films 
and it's from his like school, like the math league thing. And I just love it. I've already worn it. There's already like makeup on it. I love it so much. It's so comfy and it's so me, isn't it? Like jumpers like this. Very Rachel. I just love it. It's so comfy. I had that idea months ago, and I was like, that'll yeah. be my Christmas present. And like obviously with Spider Man coming out just now, it was such right. a like it's relevant. Time. Yeah. I wish I'd had it before, mind you. Yeah. So I could have worn it, but it's okay because I might do. Um, and then this one might take a bit of explanation. <laughs> no, no. There is a film, <laughs> a Disney film. Called Raya and the Last Dragon. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. So it's good. on Disney Plus now. Um, we went to see it in the cinema. We did. We loved it very, very much. And one character stole the entire film. <laughs> Mind you, they were all cute. But there was this character called Tuck Tuck, who was the cutest thing <laughs> in the world. <laughs> and Chris got me a teddy bear <laughs> of Tuck Tuck. And he's so cute. He looks so cool. He has wee eyebrows. And he's, he's wee fluffy. And he, he's. She like it. She like sits on him, and he's like a transport, and it like rolls. It's just the oh, and we're all fuzzy. There we are. It's so fun, and so I just love this, and I keep I just sleep with it like this now. It's so tuck, soft. Tuck. I keep having to explain what it is to people because like what animal is this? Like it's not a snail. No, it's no, like it's a tuck tuck. I wonder if that's a like. I think so. Animal. It does have like so it has eyebrows here. Eyebrows. But it has also these hangy bits. I don't know if they're I don't know, but I love them, and he's now sitting with me for the rest of the video. Okay. <laughs> Love that. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> uh, got some lovely skincare kind of treatment stuff from my lovely girlfriend. Um, I would go through everything. Fun stuff. But here's a uh, face wash. So that's always fun. There's loads of stuff. Loads of stuff that we can go through. And uh, I don't know if she was trying to tell me something. You mean to get <laughs> some skincare stuff? She definitely does. So there you go. Um, and then uh, we got vouchers for this new golf place, which is in Glasgow. And the main one was that she booked tickets for us to see. The Lion King. Is that going to focus? Is that going to focus? Come on. Come on. There we go. It was me that was a problem. There we go. It was Rachel's problem. So we're going to see Lion King in June. And I've always wanted to see the stage show, so I'm buzzing. I, on the theme of books, I got this really cool thing. I'm not going to spoil what it is because it's exciting. I need cough. <laughs> it looks like a book. Yes. Mm -hmm. But is it a book? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. It is a light. It doesn't look as good because of the big YouTube light here, it but it's blue so cool. and it was green and it is orange. That one looks better, you can see yeah. it there. Um, so it's supposed to be a reading light. How you're supposed to read in a light like this, I have no idea, but I love it anyway. But So it doesn't sit flat, so I'm having trouble ah, yes. figuring it out. It sits, there's a magnet in it, so it sits <laughs> like this. Like I can, but like that's not fun. Like I want. If it to we sit. need the extra light for the YouTube videos, we could just do this. But I want it to sit like a book, like so that when yes. I But it doesn't sit flat. Does it, it sit up like that? No, not really. Because it just closes. But it does change colour. Oh, again. I love Whoa. that. I just like blasted it in my ball. But yeah, it's pink now. Oh, that's so much fun. And it can't like it came with a remote. Give me a colour. Uh, purple. Yay! <laughs> One of my favourite things that I got from Santa Claus. This is this Jackie Chan films collection on Blu-ray. Eight Jackie Chan films, the Vintage Collection, um, which is a kind of an old wrestling reference as well. I just read Jackie Chan's autobiography, Never Grow Up, in November of 2021. And in the book, he's talking about all these films and stuff, and I was like, I'd love to see them all. So the fact Santa just knew that I was reading that book and decided to get me all these films and it says on the back here and so there's Battle Creek Brawl, Project A, Wheels on Meals, Police Story, <laughs> The Armour of God, Project A2, Police Story 2 and Armour of God 2. Um, so many good stories in the autobiography about the amazing stunts and unbelievable yeah. risks that he was taking in these films and you know the way when he's talking about them in the book I was like I, I really want to watch them <laughs> so it's one of those sets where they're all That's really cool. clumped in there together so I'm buzzing to make my way through these I might even watch Battle Creek Brawl this evening. Mm. So, have a big chip. Okay, so I'm going to go to a Marvel theme now. Good call. Wait, well, we kind of already did with the Spider Man, I should have stuck on theme. But I got this jumper, which looks like a boring jumper, but it's not. It has the Winter Soldier, Met Warm. How do I show this? Hang on. Just be my assistance. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do? Nothing, just sit there. There we go. It's got Bucky's, or the Winter Soldier's, not Bucky's. Um, the Winter Soldier's L. And it's so cool and comfy, and I love it. Um, and then we could be staying on a Marvel theme quickly. Yeah, but I've got another Marvel thing. All right. Um, I got this necklace that I am ah, obsessed yes. with. Um, it is. It's gonna be hard to show. It is the Infinity Stones. I was gonna say Gauntlet, but it's not the Gauntlet. Um, and a necklace is gonna be impossible to show. No, no, that's it. 
focus. You got so excited there. Well, yeah. it's good effort. So it's got all of the investments Very nice. There. Um, and it's, I like that it's kind of subtle, but also kind of costume jewellery, like it's quite bold. But I don't like, think it's bold I, at all. You can get away with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I like that only like some people know what it is and stuff. So if you know, it. you know. I wore it when we went to see Spider-Man. Um, and I was dead chuffing myself that I had it on with my Bucky Barnes hoodie, not that one, a different one. I was having a great old time. Nice. So. Sticking to the Marvel theme, we were talking about in a recent video, I think a couple months ago, I say a recent video, <laughs> not done one in a while, um, but we want to get all the MCU films oh, yes. on Blu-ray, but we could easily just go about our business and just order them all on Amazon. We want to kind of find cool versions, we want to have them gifted to us, we want to we'll charity shops, don't we? walk into a charity shop and find a cool one or, or something like that, you know. So, uh, Santa brought me the Iron Man 3 film collection, Iron Man right. 1, 2 and 3. So cool. um, and I like the fact, sometimes I like a nice nice artwork, booklet, that sort of thing. But for these ones, I quite like how they're all the individual ones, because it's like it clarifies that you've got each and every one of them, you know. So, uh, love all three films. Yes. I think Iron Man 2 is very underrated. Favourite character? Uh, Trevor, Trevor Slattery, I'm an actor. <coughs> uh, and also, we've got this Captain Marvel Blu-ray Steelbook. Buzzing for this. I love this, this one. Um, I personally think Captain Marvel is really underrated. Very underrated. Um, it came in this nice slip. It took me a couple tries, but now I absolutely think that like, yeah. it should be. I think so it's a brilliant film. Movies. It gets overlooked a lot. Um, and, you know, I even just like the normal cover of this one, but it's I kept seeing cool versions. Yeah. And we have That's Avengers amazing. Assemble on Blu ray Steelbook, and we have the so, First Avenger, yeah. Yeah. Captain America First Avenger on Blu ray Steelbook as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe that'll be a recurring theme. I don't know. I know that Iron Man, be. first Iron Man film, has a really cool Blu ray Steelbook. Maybe one day the nine. But, um, yeah. Very happy with this, not even out of cellophane yet. Um, I'm scared to get my fingerprints all over it and stuff, so um, when it's time to kind of file it away, then I'll do that. But yeah, Captain Marvel Blu ray Steelbook, yes. So then I got t two different Harry Potter like gift books, like rather than just a normal Harry Potter books or like fancy ones. So this one is do you know how many copies I have of Foster Stone? I'm not even getting I Quite think, a few. I've not even read it. And, and, and I've have... got a copy as well in here that's not part of that set. Yeah, so I've got you've got that one, yeah, the box set. A Hufflepuff one, I'm sure I've got a hardback Hufflepuff one. This one, I and think I might I think we've got five copies of that book in this house. And it's leaving your favourite one. I haven't even read it. No. Right, anyway. We've got this, which is I'm not complaining. That is a good yeah, thing. I'm gonna try and lean away so it focuses. Um, it's kinda of focused. It's obviously purple like boxed um version. And like, you can see it there. It's like gold foiled and then inside Ooh That's how you do it with Harry Potter books. It has be head wig on the front, delivering a letter, um, and it's orange and it's got to be purple tassel. And I love it because Rachel likes um, orange. Orange is my favourite colour. So I think that's where the thought was with that, but I think it's so pretty. Such a pretty thing to just like have. So then just quickly, this was my Chamber of Secrets one. I'm sure everybody's seen these. The new one by Mina Lima. Um I've got Flusher Stone. Oh got Flusher Stone in that one, that's six. I've got six, six Flusher yeah, Stone. Six Flusher Stone. Um I've got Flusher Stone and then Christopher's wonderful best friend got me this one. Um, and it's so cool, it's like got all the... Oh, I'm not going to open it because stuff's going to fall out. Yes. But it's got the pop-up stuff and like bits that move and it's just really cool. It's huge, but it's worth it. It's really cool. Cool. Uh, got this nice pair of Jack and Jones black jeans. Wore them today, that's why they're... <laughs> it's right there. And also trying. got these nice blue Jack and Jones uh, jeans too. With rips in them. Yes, I was saying this, I was wearing them the other day, and I'm trying to be stylish. It's just I'm not much of a they fashion nice. guy. Uh, and then I've got some t-shirts, uh, some wrestling t-shirts here. Got this Roman Reigns Bloodline t-shirt. Very happy that's kind of been in a lot recently, so I was happy to get like a kind of recent t-shirt. Hope he recovers from Covid soon. Yes, <laughs> get wet and Roman. And uh, these throwback t-shirts that were re-releases, I showed these on the video version of the new episode of The Wrestling Connection, which is out now. Um, so if you've seen that, you've seen these before. But this is this Eddie Guerrero, uh, Addicted to the Heat t-shirt. Throwback to when like, he won the title and stuff. And then, from my childhood, this Austin 316 t-shirt I've always wanted since I was a wee boy. I've always wanted I've this! I've always wanted this. You can show something else now and then I'll do the last one. Um, I got Friends Eyeshadow Palette. I have a, the, it's like the, what are they called? Clapper boards? Yes. Is that what they're called? Yes. Um, Friends one palette from Revolution and I use it all the time. Um, so then they got me this one, it's like the picture frame, but I thought I'd show you in the packaging first as well because it's really cool. And then 
it like comes out of there if I can get it. And it's like the bolt frame on the door, and then you open it up. Oh, very nice. It's got the mirror, which is going to be panel. <laughs> and then uh, it's got the colours inside, which is like really cool. Uh, I got this. <laughs> I got this Manchester City training jersey, pre match jersey, I should say. Uh, buzzing about this. It's not even a jersey, it's just like the kind of warm up uh, kit that they wear as they're prepping for a game. Very comfortable. I love that. And love maybe that. my favourite. Not my favourite t-shirt that I got, but my favourite fit to the t-shirt in terms of how it feels and stuff like that is this Under Armour Project Rock t-shirt with the Brahma Bull logo on the front. Is that what that is? I was wondered. Yeah. Just that was his old nickname in the rest. Yeah. And then Anna Linda uh, <laughs> got me this nice sort of Lovely burgundy shirt. shirt, which is very nice. This Lovely. is from River Island. I hope you like it, everybody. <laughs> I don't think I'll wear it in one of the reaction videos, but I Maybe might do. Maybe he will, who knows? There you go. Okay. My last thing. Or <laughs> everybody put their sunglasses on because these are bright. I got new shoes and they're really white, so they're going to be really bright and overexposed. But yeah, I got finally got a pair of Air Force Ones. Um, I have a pair that are white and orange, but I've never had a pair of plain white ones, so we got them. They look how bright they are. It's so funny in the thing. You could white balance a video with? I them. had a dream last night that I walked in muddy puddles and got these all <laughs> splashed. Woke up today and was like, "Where's my shoes?" And it cleaned them. Yeah. But they're not, they're still clean. They're very clean. I she even wore them today. We went to Edinburgh City Centre today and, and she was wearing them. They're still clean, so. I got new shoes too, if anyone knows me. My favourite shoes are Jordans, but they're too expensive for me to buy. So anytime it's like a sort of holiday and someone asks me, what do you want for Christmas? I said, any pair of Jordans that aren't too loud, I'm more than happy to take. And I love these ones. These, I can't even remember the name of them. Aurora? Aura? Aura ones. Um, Sleeping Beauty shoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely how you pronounce it. But the blue, white, and black, oh, and nice. I love them. The the when you can find a pair of Jordans that aren't too loud and aren't too bold, they them. are my favourite shoes. I've got those red and black ones. I've got the white and red ones, and now I have these yeah. white and blue ones. And I'm Why buzzing is about collection good? There you go. There's all of our stuff. We love Santa Claus very much <laughs> because every year he always brings us lots of lots of good stuff, and um, we feel very spoiled and very grateful. So we Santa hope Claus, if you're watching this video, we love you. <laughs> and we know that you are, shout Santa. Um, so we hope everybody had a great Christmas, as I said, holiday season, whatever you celebrate, and you had a good New Year. It's 2022, brand new year, brand new start. We're here on the YouTube channel once again. Looking forward to what's to come in the year ahead here in 2022, baby. Thanks for watching.